In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a graphic uh, loop animation. So like this right here, basically what's happening is you've got a character in a car moving, and then on the car you've got tires rotating, and the character you have these feet moving up and down and the eye going. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document, and uh, I'll do the character first. So first off, you draw a character, and I'm just going to draw the body and convert that into a symbol. And instead of doing a movie clip, give it a graphic instead. They're much easier to work with when you do this sort of uh, thing. So once I have that, then I can go ahead and animate that going across the screen. So I just do that by right mouse clicking uh, to insert frames, and then right mouse click again to create a motion tween. So that gets it going across. Uh, now the issue is, is I want his feet to be moving up and down. Uh, I could go onto another layer. That would be a pain to make it go up and down and move it across. So instead, you can go inside of a symbol. So I'm going to double click to go inside that. And I'm going to layer this up a little bit. So I'll name that body. Create a couple layers for his feet. So feet at foot one and this one I'll call foot two. So I'll walk up that body layer. I'm just going to create a simple foot and um, convert that into a symbol. So I'm going to grab the selection tool and take that and scale it down a little bit. So right mouse click, convert that to a symbol, name it foot. And I've got one foot on that layer, and then go to this other layer, and I'm going to go ahead and just go into the library and just steal that same foot again and put it over here. So now I've got my setup. If I were to go out of here, it would just show my feet not moving right now. So I'll go back into the symbol, and I'm going to go about maybe 15 and just extend out all those frames. And then add the motion tween to both these layers. These are the layers of the feet. And I'm going to have them go up and down. So first off, I need the starting point and ending point to be the same. So I'm going to just right mouse click on the end, insert a keyframe, and just say all. I'll do the same thing to that one too. Right mouse click, insert a keyframe. So, oops, wrong one. So right mouse click. Double click if they accidentally get that. Insert a keyframe and do all. So now I've got my starting point and end point exactly the same. Grab my scrubber, move it somewhere in the middle. And on this one, I'm going to move it up a little bit. This one, I'm going to move it down a little bit. So basically, what's happening is just going up and down. What's going to happen is it's going to loop. So it's going to get to the end here and loop. So now if I come out by double clicking, Every 15 frames, I'll have a cycle, another one, and another one. That kind of just does that quick little easy uh, looping thing. It's pretty easy. If I were going to do that on a car, cars are actually a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw just a simple box, convert that to a symbol, and name that car. It's a graphic again, so I'll go inside that and break that up again. So I'll name one wheel, wheel two, and this is just the frame. So on that first one, I'm just gonna draw just a simple wheel and change the color of that. Uh, now when you do this, you probably want to have, um, so I'm just holding an alt and duplicating that. But when you do this, you want to make sure that one of those the wheel, you got to have it so it's a little bit, let me get rid of that one. Um, if you don't have anything that's inconsistent or if it's just circle, you're never going to see that rotation. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Just create a little bit with um, that. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, and then I'm just going to do something to offset it. So I'm going to just alt duplicate and create a couple uh, lug nuts maybe. So that color on there, just put that there, and I don't care about if it's not perfectly centered, because if it's not, um, 
then you'll see the rotation even that more. So I've got my wheel, convert that into a symbol. I'll just name that a wheel. And I'm just gonna place that uh, on the car. Oh, I can get rid of that. And then to get the other one, put it on the other layer. I'm just gonna drag it from out of the library because I already created that. So now I've got that same process. Right mouse click, insert, and insert a motion tween, insert a motion tween. And right now I've got, I don't have to do that endpoint thing. All I have to do is just click and make sure I'm on properties and I can tell it how many times I want it to rotate. From that one to one. And that'll get me some rotation on both of those wheels. So that one does it a little easier. The trick is you have to click on the timeline before this thing shows up. You can also choose clockwise or counterclockwise. Once I've got that, get out of that car by double clicking. So right now it's moving, at least the wheels are moving. And I just have to right mouse click to create another tween. And so it's there. Have it maybe end out somewhere over here. And I've got my little animation. So and that's uh, that's how you create a loop in Flash.